If you are science oriented and you're thinking about studying in one of the best universities in South Korea that has all of its courses focused in the sciences and it is research intensive, then this video is for you. I'm talking about Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology, which is located in Gwangju, South Korea. It is among the top 30 universities in South Korea, yes, because South Korea has more than 300 universities and for it to be among the first 30 that means it is doing something amazing they have launched their masters and phd application for spring 2023 in this video i am going to tell you about the scholarship package what it entails it is a fully funded yes but there are other advantages that i will explain in this video so if you are interested in studying in south korea why not stick to the end of the video and also if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. Hit the subscription button. And also, in the course of the video, if you feel like you're finding value in the video, please hit the like button and also make sure you share the video with other people. Because sharing is caring. And most importantly, do not forget to hit the notification bell because I always upload videos on scholarships in South Korea and other educational videos. Also, if you're interested in learning Korean language, I do provide videos on Korean language. I do provide shorts that might help you in learning one or two words in Korean language. Without taking too much of your time, let's get into the video. Let's get to my computer and look at this scholarship. Welcome to my PC. So what you need to do first is go to Gwangju. Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology. Click GIST which stands for Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology. It will bring you to this page. And then the next thing is go to admission, international graduate admission. Click on that one. It will bring you to this page. What you need to do first is check the degree programs. All right, so here you have School of Electric Engineering and Computer Science, right down to Artificial Intelligence Graduate School. So these are the degree programs that are available. So you can like click here to have more detail. It will open in the form of a PDF. And then you can like look at the courses. You can even watch YouTube videos, various forms, admission guide. Let's go back. Okay, here we are going to click on online application. It will load the online application. This is the portal where you can do your online application. It is important to know that this application can be done online. You upload your documents online. So if you look here, you would find the admission schedule. Semester of entrance is spring, starting from March next year, 2023. And then for fall, you normally start in September and then they have the application deadline so for spring the application deadline is from September 1st sorry that I'm bringing this late right up to October 14 which means you still have about 20 days and then it, it equally starts every year from March 1st to April 14 and then they would examine your documents for 15 days then review the documents for 30 days then notification of admission results will begin from December 9th and then registration of admitted students from December 27. You can equally look at the dates for fall. But since we are applying for spring, let's leave it here. Okay, next thing is you need to know what are the advantages of the scholarship as far as finance is concerned. So if you go down, it says scholarship, all international students, tuition fee, that's 3.4 million Korean won, 100% supported. You have matriculation fee, it is 680,000 won. If students submit a letter of recommendation for matriculation fee waiver from the dean, head of department college, you may be eligible for a waiver fee. So there is a possibility for you not to pay this fee. If you can get a letter of recommendation from maybe your dean, head of department, even your professor, they would 
prevent you from paying that money but if you pay 680,000 won which is about less than $700 I don't think it's a big problem to come and study for free this is what they'll give you for monthly allowance monthly stipend and research assistance student allowance for masters it's 140,000 won PhD is 295,000 won for meal they'll give you 100,000 won PhD 100,000 won if you are an international student they'll give you 120 120 also for PhD and then research assistantship they would give you actually this is the amount that is available for research assistantship now this one is important this is very important it says students must complete at least nine credits in the previous semester for the above one and two so for you to receive student allowance that's both phd and masters and for you to receive male allowance that's 100,000 for more for both phd and master you must earn a credit of nine during your previous semester which means during every semester you must work hard gpa of three or higher out of four in the previous semester for the above three so for you to receive this amount 120 for masters and 120 for phd you must maintain a gpa of at least three or higher but it's possible it's doable this should not scare you i haven't seen any student who came and failed unless they were not serious with their education now they would equally do your flight you would pay but they would reimburse one-way flight to korea and then health insurance they would pay 60 percent of your health insurance 60 percent health insurance right now is about let's say less than 60 dollars so if they are paying 60 percent this is how you're going to apply application is online you would have to upload your official degree and transcript for all undergraduate and the graduate degree program so if you're doing if you're planning on coming in for phd you would upload your undergraduate and graduate degree certificate and transcript and then they are saying that only notarized copies will be accepted which means you would go either to an apostille convention office you would either apostille your document or do consular certificate at a Korean embassy in your country and then scan it upload it you need two letters of recommendation they say recommendation letters will be received directly from recommenders which means they might probably send a link to your recommender when you're doing the online application you would provide their email and phone number every contact information and then they would send a message to the person and the person will recommend you online that's why they say each recommender will receive an automated email instructing them on how to proceed with their recommendation letter through an online process they need a copy of your passport and then they equally need english test scores that's either TOEFL. these are the score points that they will accept if you need if you have ielts they need at least 6.5 if you have TOEIC, and then this new one new tabs they say for you to have an advantage for the matriculation fee up here to be waived a letter of recommendation from the department chair in your home country university so you can go and see your home country university department head to get a letter conditional admissions a certificate of english language proficiency issued by your home university in case you don't have any of this um, uh, official English test course like TOEIC, TOEFL, IELTS you can ask for English proficiency from your school in case you studied in English but know that they will give you only conditional admission which means you would have to eventually write the English exams and submit a test score even while in Korea they say if applicable any student admitted to the Institute with conditional admission with conditional admission due to unavailability of official English test result must submit the official English test result that meets the application 
criteria of the institute to the department office within six months from the date of admission exactly what i was saying any person who has conditionally admitted to the institute but failed to fulfill the requirements stated above will automatically be removed from the school register seven months after the date of admission which means once you come to korea you have to make sure you prepare yourself for these exams and have it and submit it to the school if you don't want to be booted out application deadline online application is on this link i'll provide a link to this page and then required documents documents will be uploaded online applicants degree program can be changed according to the applicant's consent which means you can apply for a program and then decide to change it if you want and then if you have any problem applying online it's not a problem if you come up here they say application guideline i said this is the link where you would apply online which means you can create a username and password here to apply so if you have any problem applying you click the application guideline and you have every information you have from before applying please review all instruction carefully before completing the application form if you want to contact the admission coordinator you use this email you have the deadlines documents that must be uploaded into the system they are showing you the procedures you have to fill in the you have to fill in an online application form original or notarized official degree certificates for all undergraduate and graduate if applicable so basically it's all the things that we've talked about they've talked about visa how to get your visa they equally talked about the enrollment money 680,001 you go down to explain to you how to log in how to apply online how to fill out your personal information from names date of birth how to choose your degree programs basically they've taken it step by step the online application so you just need to follow this if you are having any trouble applying and the good thing is that it is in english so you don't really need to worry that much that being said this is the end of the video Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology is science-oriented 100%. If you know you're interested in the sciences, this is an opportunity for you to grab and study in South Korea. I know the, the financial stipend is not that much, but at least they are paying your tuition and you're receiving almost about $500 on a monthly basis. There are a lot of universities in Korea that equally offer that amount and students are taking advantage of it and they are equally studying. What is of importance is that they finance your education. You can manage your daily living with the amount that they'll be giving you on a monthly basis. For those who will be applying, I wish you the best and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.